This video is going to show just how easy it is to plot position and velocity data using Logger Pro. So here I have um, data set and I'm going to change the x-axis to time. So I'll put in time, t for the unit, or s for the unit. And then for the y, uh, that's our position. So um, position, then the short name will be x. And the units for this was uh, centimeters. So I'm using data from my um, data that one of my students had for a spool going down a ramp. So I'm just going to copy the data into this data table using the information they collected during their experiment. And then I'll put in the position data. And you can see as soon as you put the, the data in, the points get plotted. So there we go. Um, I think I should just ch uh, change the time axis a little bit. I don't need it all the way out to 10. Uh, there we go. Like that. Okay. So there's our data. We might, I, right away I'd say it's probably not linear, but we can check with a linear fit. So analyze linear fit. No, not good. So we'll try a curve fit. So analyze, curve fit, try quadratic. Looks pretty good there. I could try a different one. Um, looks kind of wacky. The regression isn't great. So I'll go back to the uh, parabola. So there you go. And we even have an equation for the parabola. Um, at this point, I'm going to try to get the velocity triumph from that. And the velocity is equal to the slope of tangent lines. So I'm going to look at uh, some tangent lines here. So first I'll make a new column for velocity. And units were centimeters per second. And then I'm just going to use this tangent tool to tell me the tangent of these different points on the line. When you first try it, those tangents picks the points, which I don't really want. I want to use actually the points on the curve. So what I'll do is I go up to the um, options, graph options, and then interpolate. So now I'm going to be able to grab tangents right off the curve, which is really what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to put the cursor at a time, read off the slope of the tangent line, and then manually record that information. So I have to do this for every point. Um, for a lot of students, this probably requires um, a bit more explanation on, you know, what a tangent line is and why the slope is the velocity, but uh, but it's when once they sort of have that understanding, uh, it's enough to to get us going and creating this data. Oh, I have to get the data or the the tangent line at the beginning. Okay, now I'm going to add a new graph corresponding to that velocity information. So graph, done. There it is. Velocity versus time. And it looks pretty linear. I can try a linear fit. There we go. There's the equation of the line. There's the slope. The slope of that is the acceleration. Done.